and good morning welcome to sunny california and uh what we want to do today keep it short keep it brief give me the ability to kind of let you know we've been gone for a little while what's happening what's been going on and uh get this thing rolling again i'm i'm uh i'm tired of not having it roll all the time so we're bringing it back let's rewind last video was uploaded last of last friday right uh, about a week and two days ago that'd be nine days ago uh friday before lost and found everything's good dialed in race day comes and good all right it's early saturday morning and we're at the cabin oh, hey <laughs> this guy however we are we're getting the craft coffee uh, program dialed in here. We got with the boys from Hub Coffee Roast. We got the V60 pour over. We got the scale. We got the v, the actual V60. You know the whole. <laughs> Eggs are cooking up. Rice is already done. We're we're teeing up for breakfast. And we got that Hondo today. It's gonna be sick. We're almost, we're almost ready. Some prep work still to go. Bike is dialed, everything's dialed, breakfast is happening around the house, and uh, we're gonna jam. We will see you guys afterward. Uh, let's make it an epic day, and I will report back some primo news. Yeah, so we filmed in the morning, and then for the rest of the day, uh, it, it, was, it was full gas. Full gas bike racing, full gas getting cleaned up, full gas driving home, full gas jamming to this wedding, all of the above. So, let's do a quick synopsis of the race. What happened? How did it play out? Hunter Miler had a great start. Rolled into the front group about 30 miles in. There's a pretty solid separation. There were about 10 of us in the front group. That group continued on until about mile 45-ish. On the 100 mile loop, there's a big climb. And it took us about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, pretty substantial climb. It just kind of kept going, kept meandering up the hill. Their group was split into a group of six, I want to say, up the road, and a group of four of us uh, that sort of all came together halfway on the climb, on the descent, in that valley following. Uh, we worked hard, chased hard, never caught them. We ended up losing one guy, and we caught one guy from the front group. Worked well, all the hydration was good, uh, race tactics were, were pretty good, not much more that I could ask for. So we ended up ninth on the day. It was good, it was fantastic. The races are getting deeper, we're getting faster, however our finish time got slower. Um, but the group's getting faster, and uh, the number next to your name just sort of is changing, right? But everything is, is looking solid. Our finish time was six hours on the dot, the longest of all lost and founds that we've done by a pretty substantial margin. Now begins, not that the bike race wasn't fun, but now begins the fun part. Um, we, <laughs> I literally crossed the finish line. We're already running late. Our hope was to leave by 2 p.m. Six hours on the dot as a 8.30 start time makes it 2.30 already. So we're, we're shooting to be already an hour behind our schedule. Cross the finish line, come around to the cooler, top off my water, grab a Coke, and I mean, limp my way home. I had my arm like resting on the bar holding the Coke and then one hand and I was probably pedaling like six miles an hour, but I felt like I was covering some ground. We get back to the house, we get cleaned up, we shower, clean, pack, and get on the road within 25 minutes of so of that. Uh, I was I was impressed and we beelined at home. And it's supposed to be to the wedding by 5.30. We were here at like 5.20, right? We immediately change again. Uh, so in a matter of like four hours, I went from dirty bike clothes to board shorts, no shirt, driving home uh, to full-blown wedding attire. Uh, we make it to the wedding like nine minutes late. Just, just, whew. primo. Yeah, so that was the, the synopsis of the day. I can't believe we made it. I've had a bunch of people ask. I'm sure if you're local and you know us, the Kaisers, um, you heard about the story about the wedding because it was, it was, comical that's the uh the post race synopsis that i owe you guys this is a much more boring vor version of it it would have been much cooler to uh to actually have some race coverage but it was literally just hit the ground running and we couldn't we could not waste any time to try and 
set up some shots and make a little bit of filming. All right, I wanna, I wanna get back on the daily. The season is quickly approaching. I was just reminded that there's 12 weeks, in case you're counting, 12 weeks until the first cross race. So over the next little bit, we're gonna be chatting more about all of that. We're gonna introduce some summertime um, training stuff that we've done, uh, some more Tech Talk Tuesdays, because there's more stuff coming. Um, we're gonna, we, we got racing next weekend up in Carson City. Uh, so it's it's starting to be part two of the summertime, and I think this is why it's a great time to bring the camera back around, make it happen, start filming, and educating again, because I know you guys love it. I actually really, really do enjoy it, and that's why uh, I miss miss doing it. Uh, this is getting really long. I wanted this to be actually a short one. Just say, hey, I'm back, guess what? And we will be vlogging tomorrow, and we will be vlogging the next day. So we're coming back around. All right, well, it, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. We will see you guys tomorrow. Hold me to it. All right. Over and out.